Hi, welcome to DTV. Hi, and thank you for having me. If one eats three meals a day, is snacking really necessary? Snacking can be very helpful to make sure that you get in all the nutrients that you're supposed to in a day's time. It also helps to prevent your blood glucose levels from dropping, so um, that leads to that feeling of tiredness. Also, when you want to maintain a healthy body weight, it helps if you snack healthily in between your meals so that you don't feel hungry so quickly. In your experience, when do people usually reach for a snack? Usually when people start skipping meals, so if, you, if you haven't had your breakfast, um, then uh, the first thing you do is you start snacking or maybe you didn't have a proper lunch. So by the time you get home, you're really hungry and then you grab a snack. Also sometimes out of boredom. Is there emotional snacking and how does one identify this? It's important that we think about why do we eat, what do we eat and when do we eat. Um, do we eat because we want to um, be healthy, we eat so that we can supply our bodies with sufficient fuel or is there certain things that trigger my eating? Do I start snacking or eating when I'm upset? Do I eat when I'm stressed? Um, so all of those are indications that maybe this is triggers that I should be careful of, that um, I'm eating because of some emotional aspect or um, sometimes it's also behavior that you've learned from, from when you were a child. So um, food is a comfort. When I feel upset, then I eat. Or if I'm in a difficult situation, then I reach for food. So it's very important that you um, become aware of, of those triggers. How do you handle a child who snacks all day and then has no appetite at meal times? It's important that we as soon as possible that we um, get children into a routine. Um, so in terms of meals uh, it's important to to have a routine in terms of regular meals. So make sure you have a routine where you um, give a child breakfast, lunch and supper. Also don't have snack foods readily available. First make sure that there's healthy meals um, and then have fruits available that a child can snack on um, and otherwise is snacks is, is now and again. What unhealthy snacks do South Africans seem to favour? South Africans tend to like um, takeaway foods, so um, like hamburgers, pizzas, pies. Those foods are uh, really high in fat, they're high in salt, especially saturated fats and trans fatty acids, which is really bad for us, um, as well as the salt because a lot of South Africans, um, we have a, a tendency towards high blood pressure, so you, you, you want to avoid um, foods with high salt content. Also, we tend to snack on things like crisps, which is high in salt as well as fat, um, things like salted peanuts, salted biscuits, um, maybe also sweets and chocolates, which is high in sugar, um, as well as we have a very high consumption of sweetened carbonated cold drinks. Um, they are talking about uh, the problem of liquid sugars, um, which um, includes uh, cold drinks containing lots of sugar. How can you change snacking habits if your family is used to unhealthy options? Get into a habit where a family um, plan meals together, pl start preparing meals to be together, maybe look at interesting, nice recipes that we as a family can enjoy together. Um, and very importantly, change the types of snacks or food that you keep in the house and that you keep in your fridge. How can unhealthy snacking at the workplace be prevented? 
backpack, a healthy lunchbox, keep healthy snacks, um, prepare the night before. Because the problem is as soon as you um, don't do that and you get to work and now you want to snack on something or you start getting hungry or you've maybe skipped breakfast, then your options are very limited the, in, in terms of what is available and then you end up maybe buying something from a vending machine. Must a snack always be healthy or can one indulge in a guilty pleasure sometimes? One can definitely have a treat now and again. Important is to make sure you follow a healthy, balanced diet every day. Um, and then I usually advise maybe once a week, have something um, sweet like a bite-sized chocolate maybe, or if you go out with your friends on a weekend, have a piece of cake, or if a family comes together on a Sunday, have dessert. Um, so definitely, now and again, a treat is it's good. Even for children, now and again, once a week, we can put maybe a bite-sized chocolate into the lunchbox. Some snacks classified as healthy are often very expensive. How does one snack healthily on a small budget? Sometimes what is classified as a healthy snack is not necessarily healthy anymore. It can be um, high in sugar. Um, so if I think about some of these snack bars that you can buy, they're expensive and they're not necessarily healthy. So I think a better option would be is, again, to plan ahead, maybe look for some nice easy recipes. You can make your own um, snack bars by using um, peanuts or peanut butter, dried fruits. Um, so also, I think again, just plan, look for, for recipes and be innovative because as soon as you start preparing something yourself, it's not as expensive and you know exactly also what, what has gone into the product that I am actually eating. How often should one snack, ideally? Have your three meals a day, breakfast, lunch and supper, and then a snack is nice for in between. So you can snack three times a day. So you can have a snack mid-morning, mid-afternoon, and again late at night. Um, it helps to maintain your blood sugar levels. It also just helps to maintain um, concentration so that you don't get so hungry. So a snack helps if I've had a snack mid-afternoon. By the time um, I'm waiting for supper, then I can wait. I'm not going to get home and um, grab the first thing that I've seen or that I see. So a snack helps in that regard. Also a light, late night snack. It helps to maintain your blood glucose levels overnight so that when you wake up in the morning, um, you also don't have that, um, that really hungry cravings. Fresh fruits and vegetables are a really good snacking option, um, especially since we need to make sure that we eat about three to five portions per day. It's easy to take to work, it's easy to put into a lunchbox. You can always keep a bowl on a, on a table at, at your house. Um, you don't need to refrigerate it and it's a healthy, crunchy snack. Other healthy snacking options would be, for instance, unsalted peanuts and raisins, hard-boiled egg that you can take with to work or you can put it into a lunchbox, a bran muffin that you can bake yourself, some low-fat milk or a low-fat fruit yogurt, nice tomatoes, maybe a few vegetable sticks like cucumber sticks or carrot sticks or even whole wheat pita bread that you've cut up into wedges and then always very importantly remember to drink lots and lots of water the recommendation is at least one liter of water per day